Howdy y'all, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be building this beautiful round enclosure. This is a one of a kind setup, so let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to begin with doing is adding these magnolia pods and magnolia leaves. Now I collected these from outside so they still need to be sterilized. So we're going to be boiling them for about 30 to 45 minutes in this pot of water. So we're going to go ahead, as you can see, drop everything in and get ready to boil it away. start taking out all the leaves and let them air dry for about 30 minutes. While these leaves are drying, we're going to continue with the rest of this project. It's very important that you let these leaves dry out just a little. The next thing I'm doing is cutting out this shelf lining. It's kind of like a sticky mat. It helps things stay secure from falling over. So we're going to cut this out to a circular form so that we can place our round enclosure on top. Is it just me or is it a little bit darker than it should be? You know what, the next thing that we're going to do is plug in the light that comes with this enclosure. And voila, we have light. The next thing that we're going to do is start laying the cork out. This cork basically becomes the main structure of our enclosure, so it must look good and I must have perfect placement. Now that we have a general idea of where our cork is going to go, we're going to start adding our hydro balls or our clay pebbles. These are mainly for drainage of the enclosure. Now we're going to add our screen mesh. This screen mesh is going to keep the substrate from mixing with the drainage layer. It's very important, so do not forget it if you're building your own enclosure. Next, we're going to start adding our substrate. We're going to be using a mixture of refi soil, charcoal, and some sphagnum moss. Next, we're going to start adding some live oak leaves. Live oak leaves are very important when it comes to building a bioactive enclosure. Now that we've gotten our substrate layer in, we're going to go ahead and start adding our cork. This cork, once again, is the hardscape of this enclosure. So once this cork is in, we can build around it. Now we've got our cork positioned where we want it. We're going to add a little bit more live oak leaves just to create a proper leaf layer on the top of the substrate. This will be very important, especially for the critters that I'm going to be adding to this enclosure. Now we're going to go ahead and add some of the magnolia leaves from earlier. Being that they are sterilized, they are officially ready to go inside of the enclosure. Now let's add those magnolia pods from earlier as well. Alocasia black velvet. It's a very beautiful plant and will make a great centerpiece for this round enclosure. Next we're going to add this Neorigilia bromeliad. Next up we're going to add this Philodendron Brazil. Next up will 
be adding this red Fatonia plant, mainly for a little extra color. And another red Fatonia going in. First, we're going to begin with adding some live sheet moss. And for the main type of moss we're going to be using is pillow moss. And we're going to add it throughout different various places of this enclosure. I personally will tuck them in different corners, nooks and crannies, just to fill in space and add a little extra greenery. I'm using it to structure a flat spot for feeding of whatever animal that will be going in this enclosure. Now to light this enclosure, I'm going to be using a nano dome and an LED bulb to create a more spotlight effect for this enclosure. Just like that, now that we've got our lights on, all of our plants planted, the cage is pretty much complete. Now remember, this is not a large setup, so it didn't take me too long to build, but I think it looks fantastic and will be great for the future inhabitants of this enclosure. Well y'all, that just about concludes it for today's video. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and don't forget, follow my Instagram, ZeroPyrotoneYT. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one.